this Christmas ornament project I had decided that I wanted um, to decorate the inside of the oval ornament rather than the outside for the initial part of the process. So I basically did exactly what I did on creating the reverse decoupage on the Easter glass plates I did mm, back in February or March. So when you do a reverse decoupage, you have to do everything in reverse. What normally is last goes on first when you're working from the inside of an ornament. Now, I started with Pintart's two-step fine line crackle. And I'm going to say that because the papers I ended up using were fairly dark, the crackle did not show up all that much. I mean, you can look really closely and see some of it. But if you wanted to save some steps doing this process, my suggestion might be maybe just do the antiquing paste to give it that aged color that you're looking for versus doing the, the two-step crackle. If I had it to do over, I'd still do the crackle because I think that, well, it's beautiful. For the decoupage papers, I had um, printed and done various dyes on um, regular copy paper, but also on rice paper. This is rice paper. I've laid down the coffee and now I'm just using some distress inks. And I do that with all the pages. shaky and we'd be much safer on the ground so very sure that you felt it and so very hard to explain it up in the air this love we found it's a tricky situation because we don't know what to do but i feel your every motion as i'm calling out for you to say I have to find another way to show you what's on my mind oh what's on my mind we can slip out the back door I just want to hold you like before oh girl you're really one of a kind one of a kind it's a tricky situation cause we don't know what to do but I feel your every motion as I'm calling
Well, apparently I neglected to film the mold that I used to fill in the gap between the decorative element from the olive crest mold, but it was the larger beaded pearls from classic elements mold. Now here, I am actually deciding what to put on the back. You know, when you put clay molds on the front of an ornament, it makes them a little top heavy. So that is why a lot of times I uh, put some kind of mold on the back. And what I decided to use here was a Prima Redesign Mold Musical Journey, I believe it's called. The problem with a lot of the Prima molds, though, is that they're super thin and have little teeny tiny parts. So every time I do one of their molds, I pretty much have to put it in the freezer and let it uh, get a little bit stiff for 10 or 15 minutes so that I can pop it out. And so I had to do that three times. To give these oval ornaments some more drama, I wanted to use um, a taller topper. And rather than using air dry clay, um, I'm using resin. And the reason is because I want to make it 360 degrees. In other words, casting the two halves and putting them together. If you try to do that with clay and glue it, your, your seams show and sometimes you mush up the clay when you're trying to put them together. So resin is the answer here. This is two part resin from Amazing Castings and it is the IOD bobble mold. Now because I am only doing a portion of the pour, I have to create some kind of a dam and that's what that plastic piece was. It's actually just a, a really cheap cutting board mat from the Dollar Tree and I just cut a shape and I'm going to add clay in the back of that to hold it in so that the resin won't pour through. Gaze upon the sky, Christmas on my mind, somewhere from a place up high above. There's a song of love, travel.
I have to say that I am no jewelry maker. I neither have the patience nor the hand dexterity to mess with those little tiny things. However, I do like to use jewelry parts for ornaments. Now I had some uh, little teardrop shaped pearls, but the stem that was on it was silver and that was not gonna work for me. So I got the proper color stem, threaded the pearl on it and then used kind of a little end cap to give it a decoration. And then I had these cylindrical gold beads. I don't know where they came from, which means I've had them like forever and a day, but I thought they would add a little sparkle. And I wanted something to dangle off the end of the ornament, which is why I put that, glued that uh, jewelry top on it that has a hole in it. I needed something a little bit long to balance out the tall topper that I had put on there uh, to hang it from and I thought adding a little bead would be good. As you can see I have much frustration trying to work with these little jewelry things but I did my best so I'll just let you watch how I attached everything. Place. 
Christmas time.